Hello and welcome to Optimistic Wellness. I'm Josh Lipovetsky, and today I would like to challenge you. I'd like to issue you a challenge. And that challenge is, what, well, first of all, before I issue the challenge, what thoughts come to mind when I mention arithmetic, geometry, trigonometry? Uh, depending on who you are, the thoughts are different, but among most of the population, uh, you know, people throw up a little bit <laughs> just by hearing those words. And, and in high school, I was, a, I was a pretty good math student, but I never enjoyed it, just ever. So, why did I decide to take calculus online uh, in my freshman year in college, which I'm taking right now? Well, there's a few reasons. And the first one is the most important reason. I did it to expand my mind. I absolutely love what doing calculus is doing for my thinking. I love the challenges that I face doing it every single day. And just the other day I spent about 75 minutes. Yeah, 75 minutes. I time myself when I do calculus. I spent 75 minutes on one little problem trying to factor out and getting the mechanics of a problem right. It teaches you patience, I will tell you that. And when you run into this calculus problem, this big, hairy monstrosity of a single calculus problem, you might do research, you might go to Khan Academy. Thank you so much, Salman Khan, by the way. Love Khan Academy. You might start looking up theorems online, just trying to find out how to do this particular problem. And when you finally get it, it's like bliss, I'm telling you. Even if you don't like doing it, just the act of working so hard to find a solution to figure out this concept and then getting it, oh, I can't illustrate that in words. But I can tell you this, it is so important, and I say this in pretty much all my videos, to get outside your comfort zone, not to talk about it like I'm doing right now, but to actually do it. Watching this video is not going outside your comfort zone. This is probably pretty easy to sit at your computer and just watch me talking. But to actually do, like, to pick a topic. Maybe for you, you love math. In that case, this, maybe, you know, literature or something like that would be more applicable. But to find a topic that you're really feeling scared or apprehensive about, something that you just feel, ugh, get away from me. And I felt that way with calculus. And now I'm just embracing the challenge and you can't really you can't really live this until you've lived it like you can talk about it but you really you won't grasp the concept until you've sit until you've sat down and done something that you didn't particularly like something really challenging and just hacked away until you finally understood a concept and calculus is a microcosm for life too uh, you, you find one concept you got to master that one in order to move on to the next one and just keep going and going and no matter how much you know there's just so much left to learn it's just it's just great so to conclude this video i would like to i would like to say for a little bit forget about that concept of doing what you love doing what you love is wonderful but in order to do what you love and to really be appreciative of how much you love something you have to do things that you don't love for a certain period of time. There are always going to be times in life when we're forced to do things that we're not particularly excited about. So conditioning our mind to, to be really enthusiastic about going for those challenges is an invaluable skill to learn. So my challenge for you today, try to learn calculus. Don't try to do it. Actually do it. Thank you so much for watching. Optimism is the only way.